Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Motorsport Report. Tonight we'll be covering all the action from the thrifty Bathurst 500. Let's go. This weekend was of course round one of the Repco Supercars Championship for 2024, but it was also start for numerous categories. This weekend we saw Aussie Racing Cars, V8 Super Utes and Touring Car Masters and of course the Dunlop Series. Now in terms of Dunlop Series we'll be covering all that action in our main Supercar podcast, Let's Talk Supercars, which will be uh, live streamed over on TikTok and Twitch uh, this week. So stay tuned for more information for that. And uh, if you want to get involved in that, you you can ask a question during the live and you'll be featured in the videos um, coming up. Because if you do miss the podcast, no stress, it will be uploaded on uh, YouTube and Spotify, all there for your faces to listen to. So you're more than welcome for that. But for now, we're going to be uh, covering just the, those three categories. So without further ado, let's get cracking. The first sprint race for the Aussie racing cars was fairly tamed from all drivers until the last lap. Uh, after a great battle between first and third, Chapman in the number 25 cool entry uh, was able to cross the line first ahead of reigning champ Joel Henrich and Cody Brzezinski after a stellar drive came home in third after um, running wide at the final corner and almost getting caught into the sand trap. Uh, Josh Anderson comes home in fourth, and Cody Garland rounds up the top five for Cody Garland Racing. Race two started cleanly with some decent battles. However, the first safety car was deployed after numerous cars ended up in the fence due to a oil spillage at Griffin's, um, thanks to Josh Anderson's mobile. Um, once the cleanup was done, uh, drivers got a one-lap dash, um, and uh, Joel Henrich proved why he's got the number one on his car and claimed the win for the for that one. With Chapman coming home in second, Carl Ensby in third, Anthony DiMaro fourth, and Mason Harvey completing the top five for race two. Now, unfortunately, um, Cody McKay and Craig Thompson were caught with that oil spill, um, and unfortunately, it ended their race early on. However... Race three never happened. Um, unfortunately, uh, it actually got cancelled due to cleanup. Um, I can't remember why. I think it might be because of Super 2, maybe. Um, I can't remember the full story for that. But unfortunately, race three was cancelled. Uh, so let's get straight onto race four, which is technically race three. And the final race of the weekend was nothing short of drama, uh, with the race ultimately ending under safety car conditions. After Desmond Collier in the 777 TFH racing entry hit the wall hard down heading into Skyline, and Craig Thompson pulling over due to a fire uh, at the chase, and Reese Chapman also had to pull over as well due to previous damage caused um, early on into the race. Uh, reigning champ was yet again Joel Henrich was able to f win the race ahead of Garland in second, Brzezinski in third, Harvey in fourth, and Brandon Madden completing the top five. Uh, and a massive shout out, by the way, to Cody McKay for bringing his car from 30th to the grid on the grid to 16th. So stellar performance by him. Uh, if you do, I do recommend checking out his content on his uh, socials as well. He's, he, uh, <laughs> he's quite entertaining, I must admit. Now, without further ado, straight into the Touring Car Masters. So, starting off with the trophy race, uh, it was a good weekend overall in the TCM series. Uh, it was It's always great to see the, these beautiful machines racing hard instead of sitting in museums collecting dust. Um, the trophy race, uh, we saw Danny um, Bazadik took the win in the trophy race with Angus Fogg in second, Jim Polisina in third, uh, Joel Hendrich finishing fourth, who's actually doing double duties this weekend with Aussie Racing Cars. And Adam Garwood rounding up the top five. Race two, uh, the first proper race of the weekend, saw Stephen Johnson dominate uh, for Hancock Racing with Adam Garwood in second. Uh, Joel Hendrich coming home in third after a great battle between him and Ryan Hansford who actually unfortunately suffered damage uh, resulting in finishing 13th, unfortunately, which is a real shame because they were really racing hard and it was really fantastic to see. 
Um, and uh, Angus Fogg comes home in fourth, and Jamie, Jamie Tilly rounds up the top five for race two. Uh, now, having a look here at race three, uh, Joel Henrich uh, was actually unstoppable this time around. And uh, just like Aussie Racing Cars, he was able to cl claim the win from Stephen Johnson, who was six seconds down the road uh, in, in second. And uh, Adam Garwood coming home in third after a brilliant battle between him and Johnson. Jamie Tilly in fourth after a great battle between Cameron Tilly. And uh, Ryan Hansford rounds up the top five for that one. Um, so good result from him, uh, considering the disappointing one in race two and heading into the final race of the weekend for the TCM series, uh, the, uh, saw a incredible start, uh, with cars going three wide into turn two, which was nuts. Um, however, uh, it was Stephen Johnson who prevailed and proved to be the one to beat for that one. Uh, easily taking the win with Jamie Tilly claiming second and Ryan Hansford finishing third with Joel Henrich in fourth and Jim Policina rounds up the top five after a great battle between all of those drivers. Uh, it was fantastic to see. I'm so happy TCM is back in action once again for this year. And last but not least, we have got the V8 Super Utes. Race one of the weekend for the Super Utes saw drama and action with everyone racing uh, with a two-lap dash after the safety car was deployed after Holly Asprey unfortunately lost control heading into the final corner, which actually I think knocked her out for the rest of the weekend, unfortunately, uh, which is a shame to see. Um, but unfortunately, that's racing. But I'm sure she'll bounce back for Darwin. Uh, reigning champ Aaron Borg was able to claim the first victory of the weekend uh, with David Cedars coming home in second place and Adam Marjoram finishing third uh, for that one. Roel Harris springs the car home in fourth after coming together with Jimmy Vermon. Uh, and Cameron Crick rounds up the top five. Now, um, unfortunately, Amar Sharma, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, gets trapped, got trapped in the gravel uh, after coming together with Rossi Johnson on the final lap of T1. So unfortunate for him. That car looks great, by the way. Shout out. Uh, race two uh, was quite action packed uh, with a big moment heading into the chase. Uh, Crick and Harris came together and luckily uh, they dodged a massive incident. Uh, actually, Roll actually went up into the air, like two wheels went up in the air. It was insane. So they're fortunate to be able to walk away with that and uh, actually continue driving um, even. But unfortunate um, for Roll Harris, he uh, retired due to too much damage. But uh, that didn't stop Cameron Crick for claiming the win uh, for race two with Marjoram in second and Aaron Borg in third, uh, Cedars in fourth and Jimmy Vernon in fifth. Now race three was certainly a lot calmer in race two, but still put on a good show uh, with Aaron Borg taking home the win ahead of teammate Adam Marjoram. Uh, Crick came home in third with Jimmy Vernon in fourth and Roll Harris in fifth. And the final race for the weekend for the Super Utes saw Adam Marjoram take an early lead ahead of teammate Aaron Borg and uh, was able to hold on to that lead to the very end and win the final race of the weekend uh, with Roel Harris finishing third, Cedars fourth and Jimmy Vernon rounds up the top five. So overall, a fantastic weekend of racing, um, especially in the super support categories. Um, great to see everyone having a crack and I've got to say, a lot more action than uh, we saw in supercars, unfortunately. Uh, but stay tuned uh, for V8 supercars as I'll be doing a Bathurst report uh, or Bathurst review with Alex uh, over on uh, TikTok and Twitch. We'll be live streaming it. For those that can't make it, um, don't stress. It will be um, play placed as a podcast on uh, YouTube and Spotify the following day. So in terms of days, I'm trying to we're trying to work that out as, at the moment. So keep it. Yeah, stay tuned for our socials um, where we will announce when that will be happening. And for those who actually do want to check out live streams, we live stream daily, uh, Monday to Thursday from 7.30 p.m. Australian Central Daylight Time, South Australian Time. Uh, we just do all sorts of stuff, iRacing and whatnot. Tonight, uh, when this goes live, um, I'll be doing some V8 Supercars 3 from the PS2. Uh, so if, if that tickles your fancy, uh, feel free to join. Uh, by the time this comes out, it'll probably be an hour and a half until lights out for that one. So be sure to check that out as well, and uh, hope to see you there. And uh, maybe one of you guys could become 
uh, a subscriber like Doug here um, to get featured in future podcasts and whatnot. So thanks for everyone. Hope you enjoyed this motorsport report and uh, stay tuned for our future videos. Bye for now.